Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, world. This is the man from Boswak, Jabani, better known as the Badass, coming to you live and direct. And today, first, I must tell you that this program is sponsored by the Gorilla Man. And uh, you can get my Marcus Garvey t-shirt that I'm wearing over there from the Gorilla team. I will um, put the description down below. This program is also sponsored by Dan Boss. Kitty forget touch. The kitty will be getting touch later on at a venue near you. Another sponsor of the program is the Pro Life team. Yes, Pro Life, Pure Life is what the badass is all about. So now you know who my main sponsor is. The Gorilla Team, Dan Boss, and the Pure Life Team, out of London, UK. Now, I have been getting a lot of positive feed forward especially since I start to use the Pro. Yeah, the Pro make the thing going up. People love the look. Now, there is several things that I would like to discuss and talk about. Mainly, the downtown connection and the roots connection here in England. As you know, people have been coming to England from the slave plantation that I escaped from many, many years before Badass. But I think that we need to make distinction. And, it, and the distinction is the different generation and category of people that came here to England. So, for example, you got the famous Windrush people, or the Windrush generation, and the Windrush children. Now, now, this respect foundation, you know, car foundation, a foundation, respect goes out to the Windrush people. But the Windrush people was the first. The Windrush people is like to hide. I remember saying my story, you know. So I don't want to get them a thing now and get on a feeling. Because either, you know, like what I say, you just zip off. I just try to fathom what I say. Now, the Windrush generation, as far as me, when we look from history, is a spin-off from the Maroon. So the Windrush people them was people them were ass kissers, lickers, you know, some funny style people where they'd come here and those are the people that came here to join, yeah? and look down on other slaves. So the Windrush generation, I would have seen them as house niggas. Because if you check the history, those Windrush generation, I can't uh, Sam Clayton. You know, the one thing when I talk me, I'm a history packed down differently. You know. Sam Clayton was a one of the original founding member of the Rastafari movement. Sam Clayton tell you that the people them did sell out Africa 
and choose to come to England as opposed to follow Marcus Garvey teaching and principle. See, a Garvey, I depend de on you know, with the Back to Africa program. So the windwash people, them, they are born in a really, really, really windwash my thing down. I don't have nothing in common with windwash people. I'm not going to see how the, the, the things set different. So the windwash people, I don't think Rastafari did come in at the windwash. Yeah. Because there's no. In, in at the windwash time, Rastafari couldn't move because them time that we was the real slave. We couldn't move. So, you no know, windwash people never come. No, 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 no. no Rasta never come in at the windwash. Migration. No. Out of the windrush, we have what you call a Caribbean integration in the English culture. Now, the windrush babies, when them start hear the scam music and reggae music, is who start mimic what they are hearing and try to duplicate a struggle that never exists in England. Yeah. The struggle where Rasta try to set their England. Never their England. Because one, England is the art of Babylon. And England is a racist place more than every other place, so don't get me wrong now. So England suppressed black people, but them on go suppress black people, them suppress all black people. Yeah? So what the wind was children went through is Rasta who give them the strength now to break away. But them never, when them break away, them never really make the rootical connection. It's just like a rebellious against oppression. Kind of this me had this wind wash pick me now. I'm gonna show now say when I come here in England, as I explained to you. And the first night when me remember say I come at England at the age of 21, you know, me a big, big man, have house at Jamaica, have family at Jamaica, have picnic. Me have big picnic in the country right now. We can tell us that dad was the best dad down in the back of the wall to how we used to live. Because I tell him, I say, I don't come out and not suffering like how me some man at all. Me is a hard stepper. Everything when I want, I can't go take that. With my gun. I saw my go. Right. So my go and the rest of you we take I take my take things. Right. So my family was okay in terms of where them wants. I man could have sustained that. Not only that I was a taker, my baby mother was a taker too. So you have to know it's a team I take her. When I come here, I come here with my team, my baby. I mean, my baby. And I'm alone come here, you know. I mean, my baby mother come here. Yeah, and the two we are take her from Jamaica. So we take anywhere we go. Big up to my baby mother. Yeah, big up to Butter. Do you hear she name? Butter she name, because anything where no, no bowl down, once, once you pass by it, it slide away like butter. Mm hmm. Yeah, respect to her, because. I saw the thing go. Them say bad man keep bad man friend and bad woman friend too. Yeah, so, so we don't see nothing that go on right now. We are impressed. We. Now, I hear some man now I try to say, to tell me now, because like, some man hear me attack. Some man go build them own platform and tell for them story. The, the, the world is big, you know. If you feel you have a story you want to tell, go tell it. 
up on your platform, you have your phone, take out your phone and talk in you know, your phone. And tell your story. Don't come on my platform now. Come try to country dick. Like Tony. The name Tony. Me did me have the front me have the front name right. But you have to understand now, say, me get Tony Martin mixed up with Tony Williams. So, who is Tony Martin? Tony Martin is a Garvey scholar. Renowned Garvey scholar. So, are the two Tony me get mixed up. But me never half key. So some man I run down say, it's Tony Williams. Yes, it was Tony Williams, but what me say? I don't know him. Some man tell me with the program the name. Good. I don't have no problem with that because I tell them I never listen to the program because on a Sunday, I come in, you see what time it is. I come in from them time I that's chicken still. So I come in from chicken, I mean I'm a bed. I be a mother that fix my dinner with my gubela punch. Because them time they saw us something even there. Yeah, me there when sour sack me there, we a gumbe punch, we a drink. As imitation sour sap. Yeah. Some people think me just come here. When I come here, there was no sour sap for fine in England. So we have to go buy gumbe punch on a Sunday and I that me a balance my rice and peas with with way, way, way. Baka. Gumbe punch. Yeah. Yeah. Imitation sour sap juice. Yeah. So now, so now, I come in from chicken, I ain't on my bed. Dinner I cook, and I balance. By the time dinner ready, Tony Williams, program I run, a Radigan program I run. But remember, my house is a yard house. My house is not an English house. So nobody in my house know why I'm here. Radigan. My people them not going to be interested. Them come from, my people them come from back a while. So them not going to be interested for why I'm here. A white man that talk about reggae music or a, 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 a guy from Jamaica where a windrush where adapt in a every principle where I go on at the time. We don't have no time now to put our weight up on reggae. Somebody in the comments said, Bad man, I listen to radio. That is so true. Because Bad man walk with them favorite cassette. Yeah, and them favorite sound. And them favorite sound, I keep them culture and I tell them where them want, where them want vibes off. So, me have vibes off of your love. Yeah. Me have, me have vibes off of Emperor Fate. Me have vibes off of. VJ Dub Master. Me have vibes off a echo tone. Now, somebody comment again and I tell me about echo tone and and you know me, me not understand if some people really get the logic behind when me are telling us. We I want me say we my meaning I am the culture. You cannot tell badass nothing about anything from 1954 until 1960, um, um, 76. You can't tell me nothing where they go on a town. Especially if you don't come from town. If you come a town, you can't come tell badass nothing. So me hear some man talk about Beat Street after them hear me. And we name it Beat Street. Yeah, a we name it Beat Street. Eyeglass vest, a we name it eyeglass. A we is the eyeglass. Yeah. Me tell now already, say. Me tell now already. Virgin. 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 Big man. Big man. Big man. Big man, 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 big man
had an open space being there. You know. And the next man, I, I do the same thing with me. I do. But when I'm doing my walk and doing thing, I stationary. So he comes stop the while. And he's an African virgin. You know when the African them talk, it sounds like a word of my word. So we never want that in my background. Anyway, moving right along. So now, I glass rest. I and I run this song. So let me tell you about eyeglass vest now. Late 70, late 60, early 70, there was no reggae music, never have no real office. Because the basic place for reggae music was Cox and Downbeat. Juke Reader, Band Street, Cox Nup by Brentford Road. Um, those were the two main places. Federal down a four shore road now near Marcus Garvey Drive. Right? So, there was no place in Kingston like a HQ for reggae music. Our music and our old. Cause music wasn't organized like it is today. The history may go on, you know. I don't know about England, I tell about Jamaica history. Yeah? So now, writer Chancellor Kana and Nard Parade, you have the blind school. Then you have Randy's, yeah? Then you have Randy's of a studio, palm premises. Then you have Joe Gibbs, who also have a studio, palm premises. So because them two studio, they, they ride upon the parade front there, so. You find, say, Three-quarter artists, yeah, tell you no, because we don't, don't know these things. Gregory was a stick man. Then if you know where Gregory, where stick man is, but Gregory was a pickpocket. That's Gregory Isaac. Leroy Smart was a pickpocket. Jack Thomas was a pickpocket. Clint Eastwood was a pickpocket. Boy, boy, pickpocket. Johnny Clark was not thief, but in brother Fish Clark, a part of a team. Tuko, Tapa, was, you know, a, a man with inner the, the settings. So we have, you have my team. So my team, all of it was Rasta, you know, but my team was just a totally take a team. So you have Keith Hudson have a record shop. Can we talk about downtown now? Can I hear somebody that come go on like them want come size up by the thing, but them just a talk vague. If me not remember some of the man them, because somebody say Alton Ellis. Alton Ellis was not part of the Eyeglass West team. No, Alton I, I said so you, you can't put people in the team when they were part of the team. Burning Spear come from St. Anne, but when Burning Spear come at town, before him get in the team, because, let oh, oh, me, te, me tell you, about Eyeglass West. Eyeglass West was the musician HQ. Yeah, that's why the movie rockers. The whole top scenario around Eyeglass West Beat Street. Because, oh, when you got Eyeglass West, I know nothing to say. A hundred want to be artists. Yeah? To spread out Pan Chancellor Lane. Every man put on them cleanest clothes car. 
them have to look presentable. But nobody not going to work, you know. That's why they call it eyeglass rest car. Any singer you want, yeah? If you come to Jamaica, back in them time, you come to Jamaica to, to look for a, a singer or an artist. The go-to go place was eyeglass rest. You leave the airport and you drive, come on a parade there and go park your car and walk, come round there. If you want to meet Bob Marley, there was no office for you to go and meet Bob Marley. There was no office. Any artist you don't want to meet, there was no office for you to go to meet these office, these men. Every man hang out a eyeglass rest. Who know that over the corner a black a blind school like Bono Wheelers? Tell you. Bono Wheelers favorite part a eyeglass rest. Bono Wheelers, third world. Sly and Rabbit, the man the favorite spot was over upon the park side, right with the toilet there, up on the fence, the man the always has sit down up on the fence there. So. Sometimes I over the Bob Marley there too. But Peter and Bunny them I, I feel them kind of that. Bunny rugs the whole of them. I feel them kind of sit down upon the fence and not parade opposite. So when them sit down, it's like them, it's like them take themselves one away from the side of the park over there. So. Now, any artist a foreigner want back then, any artist. Nobody now send you going to artist yard unless you have serious link. What you would do is come, you would come at the park and you'd have say, for example, I want big youth, right? So you know, tell the man where you want big youth for, and you know, and, and the man know want know where you want big youth for. If he's a foreigner, whether you're a white man or a black man, a man run you through the mill, run you up and down, scrutinize you, see if you look like you have it. If you have it, a man will try to take a thing off of you. Especially if you talk to a man like me. If you talk to a man like me, something has to let off. Back them time there, something has to let off. Yeah? And after something let off, I realize that you're legit. And if it's big you, it's you want, I just say, come and make a walk. From Eyeglass West, I just carry on Yeward Street, up Princess Street, I'm going to the HQ. The HQ is a place called Ranch. And in this big youth live. So I'm carrying a big youth place now. But you will under manners. I'm going to say, now go say. I'm going to out there and see you now. And then, now go say, come out. And you and them start talk. And me love you know, for doing no business cause whatever business you are not going to do I know my business them time everybody mind their own business cause the man pay me already he pay me already to carry him from eyeglass west to go look to go find big youth he pay me for that cause I want to work for free so I get paid for that already so my work done already whatever big youth and him Deal with it. When big youth see me later on, I say, but I speak up for that. Yeah, you want to see that link that, you know. Supposed to go a fine panda link there. And that I just, me and big youth business again, so big youth just know, say, yo, ask us, but I link for him for a while. Because remember, you know, the man come to see big youth, you know, come to see nobody else. So, and I like me because I carry him to Gregory. Because Gregory him did want. <laughs> big youth him want. Same thing. If a man come and he wants to see Gregory, I go so bam. All right, come. I'll make a walk. I'm going to find out. And my work done again. 
Because I perform my work. And two times I deal with me when I see me to perform that work there. But I still take a thing off of the man, because I saw the thing go. Right? Dennis Brown, the same thing. If a man come and wants Dennis Brown, I carry him go up to Roots International, the big yard, again. Because from them time, they may play my role, you know. Now, this is in the art of the thing. Stay true that war theater, right? I dip on duty. Yeah, because my place, I dip on duty. Now, boy, again, I tell you all the way, I want to hear it. Downtown run a different kind of way. Downtown is a very private place. It's an inner city and it's under lock at all time. So sometimes I hear some man, I hear some man sometimes big up themselves and I talk about them come from Kingston 13 and them come from Kingston that. But no kill where you come from. Downtown is a different place, different entity, ent entity by itself. You can't come from Kingston 13 and come downtown, come behave out of line. Mm -mm, that's something that don't work. No. When you come, for, for example, sometimes some youth see me, and when them see me, them get confused because I used to tell me, say, in my buckers. Let me give you an example. I you tell me, say, my buckers. Yeah, yeah, buckers. So, what that supposed to mean to my ass? My ass are buckers, so. See that? So, the youth are going to say to me, so, though, yeah, buckers. So, oh, 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 me never know you. Oh, if you know me, you're a youth. We you know about buckers. And we put buckers on the map. Yo, you hear me say look while? And my team put Bokas on the map. Bokas come from up where them come from. But the link where Bokas have downtown is we are the link to downtown. So when Bokas come a lizard town, and we make them come a lizard town. When Bokas come down a New Clean and Beeson Street, first of all, I don't hear when you talk about Alan Bokas. And to me, Alan Bokas are the real Bokas. Because Alan Bokas step with the eye. Alan Bokas rest with the eye. Alan Bokas is who make we go up a Bokas. And then in the trading of going up a Bokas, I end up a day with Sharon Bokas. Yeah. And Bokas girl, them start living a lizard town. You see it? So, you don't have to know these things. Now, to get the record straight, because the other day I talked to Lego Beast. Yeah. Yeah, Lego, you may talk to now, because originally I originally talk now. I talked to you, Lego Beast, the other day, and you drop, me drop, because sometimes I may talk to some people, you know. I can't say no, I don't oversell the history. So, I tell you, say, I tell you, Lego B, say, a real man go set the pace. He's a bigger boy for me, you know. But you start, you start like you want, debate that with me. And I just make you go on with you. I just make you go on with your reasoning because. At the end of the day, I hear, I hear a story, so I go try to override your story as a, a elder for me then, because I saw the thing grow. But let me remind you that Dino, yeah, I know you know Dino, I know you know Professor, I know you know Scholar. I mean, know you know Stingling Bag of Dirts. I know you know them. That is the first team. Yeah. 
When we say team, we talk about man and make change in the system. Because we ain't smell them. We ain't we talk about Spangler now. We ain't smell it. Erla. Erla. We ain't smell it. Carry it. Uh, cartwheel. Cartwheel. Myri. Right? Bird. The man that Spangler we I go America long, long time before I. Right? But the man they was just Spangler. They never really make the input. They never take over no way. Them just go lift on the black and go and fly some weed house and you know what I mean? But we are talking about man now we make changes. So let me tell you about changes now, Lego. Because you, like you forgot. Yeah? You forgot the landman them, the landites them. Because one time Florida did run by the landites Gittins. Gittins. And, 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 and um, I'll soon tell you. Because I get kind of brains. Yeah? So I have to put in some work you know, before the brains lock down. Lion skin. Lion skin. Remember lion skin? Lion skin when I time a lion skin and gittins. I run Florida Dade County. Right? Then you have a boy named School Boy. Yeah, school boy from down a rear town. I am was the Dan in a that pickling. At a late 79, early 70. Right? And me now have to tell you how that did play out. Because dirt is who take Florida. You hear me say look while? Dirt take Florida from lion skin, gittins, and schoolboy. Take dirt, take that. So, rightfully speaking, a dirt's the whole of the Cuban and the whole of the Colombian and the whole of them know that dirt was the man. And when dirt take Florida, that's when dirt bring in scholar, Dino, and place them in a them. Yeah. Now, just a brace you, Lego. And keep in mind when you talk to badass. I I travel before you. Yeah. Me depend, me depend the international circuit. Long before you, Lego. You come upon the international circuit through rockers. And in that circuit, I man the depend that exposure too because a three placements may appear in a rockers, three pair, even if a extra. Even if a extra, because them time the bad man now nah, up front nah, nothing. So I know me alone as bad man. A lot of we screech up na the thing. You know, round a ranch is the whole team a real bad man. Round a ranch, me, Carly, Natty, um, Raza, who is Cloudy. So you see the team there, down at Congo, you see the team again at Wee Dung there, yeah? Rona eyeglass was spread out when Nagusi come from the corner. You see, Jad Thomas, Smart, and few other men, down to Laba Laba, from up a girl in the street where they, where they missed in action. Laba Laba, original, with iron eyes, and I like say, Laba Laba. I don't know how Laba Laba, Thing end up or it end up. But I know say one of that life it catch me like how you catch Laba Laba. But you can't catch bad ass out there, them way they bad ass too slippery. Mm, I don't take check, you know. I don't check, I don't take check, and I don't take teaming. No guy can't tame in bad ass. Go ask Chief. Chief, yeah? Pepper soldier, chief will tell you, say, no, don't play with badass. Badass slippery. Many times we make off a badass. Hey, yo, 
something where the world for know. You see, you see, my life, my life go through stages. Yeah? So today I live the best of my life now, because I relax and 